everybody. Uh, so we're going to do the third method of the limiting reagent. So last time, uh, what we looked at was we looked at going from grams of a reactant to grams of another reactant. Uh, the first time that we looked at it, we looked at just going to moles and comparing the amount of moles of both reactants. This method is the one that I usually used in high school because what it does is it eliminates future steps that actually haven't even been shown in the previous two videos. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go from grams of reactant, grams of reactant one to product in grams. And then we're gonna go from grams of reactant two to products in grams. So the idea here is we are going to convert between both of the reactants that we have into the final products. We're going to pick whatever product the question has asked of us and go to that product and figure out which which of the two reactants can produce less product. Again, going back to our um, going back to our example here with the Big Mac. We could do that method as well. We could say, I have six buns. Okay, I can make two Big Macs. I have four patties. Okay, I can make two Big Macs. I have two cheese. I can make two Big Macs. I have one pickle. I can only make one Big Mac. Okay, so great. I know that I can only successfully make one Big Mac. And I also know then that pickles are the limiting reagent. Uh, so looking at this particular question, we're going to do the exact same chemical formula that we did in the last video here. So I'm going to write out our equation, calcium chloride plus sodium hydroxide converts to calcium hydroxide and sodium chloride. And when we balance this, we needed a two out in front of this. We needed a two out in front of this. And that was our balanced chemical equation. So what we're going to do now is the first step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go from calcium chloride and I'm going to just convert into, the question hasn't actually told us what to convert into, but let's convert into sodium chloride. And then the second step that I'm going to do is I'm going to go from sodium hydroxide and convert into sodium chloride. So the first step here that we're going to do in red, first step here, number one, that first step is going to be going from calcium chloride calcium chloride, which we had 75 grams of, so 75 grams of CaCl2, time sign line, and we want to eventually get into grams of NaCl. So last time when we were doing this question, we had determined that the molar mass of CaCl2 was 110.98 grams, 110.98 grams, and we knew that that was equivalent to one mole of CaCl2, we're then going to use our molar ratios and go from one mole of CaCl2. That one comes from the balancing coefficient here in front of CaCl2. There is no number there, so that means it's a one. And then we're going to convert into moles of NaCl. And we know from the balancing coefficient that there are two of them. Next thing that we need to do then is we need to go from moles of CaCl2 and convert into moles of NaCl. And so I know that sodium has a mass of 22.99, and I know that chloride has a mass of 35.45. 22.99 plus 35.45 gives us 58.44 grams per mole. Gives us 58.44 grams of sodium chloride per mole. And then what we're going to do is we are going to uh, do all of this uh, calculation out on our calculators here. So we're going to take 75 divided by 110.98 times 2 times 58.44. And we end up finding out that we could produce 78.98 grams of NaCl. So if I did my calculation trying to figure out how many grams of NaCl and I started with calcium chloride, I could produce 78.98 grams of NaCl. The issue with this is we don't actually know what the limiting reagent is yet. So the second step that I would do, the second step that I would do here is I would compare that with the number of grams of NaOH converting into NaCl and whichever two of those answers, whichever answer is smaller, that would then be our limiting reagent. 
So we have 127 grams. We have 100 and, oops, sorry. We have 127 grams, 127 grams of our NaOH. 127 grams of NaOH, time sign line, into one mole of NaOH. And we had seen on the last example here that NaOH had a mass, a molar mass of 40 grams per mole. So 40 grams of NaOH per mole. Time sign line. Again, we're going to use our molar ratios. In this case, we have two moles of NaOH and two moles of NaCl. Two moles of NaOH and two moles of NaCl. Okay. So then what we're going to do, same step as what we did above. We're going to go from one mole of NaCl into 58.44 grams of NaCl and find out what that is equal to. And in this case, when we plug in all of the numbers, we're going to plug in 127 divided by 40 uh, times 2 divided by 2, which is just equal to 1, times 58.44. And we find out that we could produce 185 0.55 grams, 185, 185.55 grams of NaCl. So comparing these two numbers, it's clear that the calcium chloride is actually restricting how many grams of NaCl we can make. In other words, the calcium chloride is acting like the pickles. It's the limiting reagent. It's restricting how many final grams of the product we can actually make. I particularly like this method the best because now I don't actually have to do even another step. I've actually solved for the question as well. So the question would have asked how many grams of NaCl can be produced. Well, I've found both the limiting reagent and I've figured out how many grams of the product or how many grams what the question was asking. Um, I've already completed both of those steps and killed two birds with one stone. So this is my preferred method for doing it is going grams of one of your reactants into grams of wherever the question's asking and then comparing that with the other one, so the NaOH, grams of that and comparing that with how many products of or how many grams of the product that we can actually form. So again, this is my preferred method. I think this is the most efficient way of answering these questions, but it might not be the way you understand. So grab onto one of the other two methods or this method, whatever you understood the best, and use that when calculating out your values. Mm -hmm.